rainy days. Starbucks. What's going on everybody? So this is just like pretty much another update video. Um, yeah, I have a lot of update videos because uh, I work a lot and then I barely have time to work on my car. But um, I'm getting the car ready for VTech Club, which is on the 28th in a week and a half or two, whatever. But uh, I ordered new tires. I ordered the Bridgestone Potenza, no, not Potenza, Bridgestone RE71Rs. And then also uh, this weekend, I need to install this transmission, which uh, I'm going to do this Saturday since I'm off. And then uh, I ordered new axle seals for both sides, but then, um, what is it? They're uh, back order, so, well, not back order, they're just out of stock at the dealership because I went there earlier. So um, I'm going to pick those up tomorrow morning before I, before I clock into work. And then uh, I need to clean up the transmission because it's kind of gunky and it kind of irritates me when I have a clean transmission when I put it in. So, uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, and I already have transmission fluid right there. And I haven't been down in the garage, so it's a little messy. So I have my auto power, or oh, I got those on already too. Um, let's see what else. So pretty much, uh, tires. Those probably Friday or Monday. I need to uh, pick those up. Um, and what irritated me was I went to go order new tires from, well, I'm not going to say the name. Uh, the Bristol RE7 wires, they're, they're normally around $100 a piece. I lost. My camera's acting stupid. But yeah, so I went to go order the Bristol RE71Rs from a um, shop. I'm not going to say the name, but then. Um, they were gonna charge me at least two hundred dollars extra just to get the tires, cause they're on back order since so many people want them, and I was like, what the fuck, you know? So, yeah, they're gonna charge me two hundred bucks extra just to get tires that are on back order, just cause they're back order and a lot of people want them, um, which is fucking retarded. So I went through my homie, and then uh, I normally don't buy tires from Discount Tires. But then they actually gave me a really good deal on the tires, so uh, I just deposited 50 bucks. So when it comes in, I'll get it. So and then um, I might pick up another set of T37s if I could find another set, so I could put the RE71Rs on these ones. Um, and then uh, what is it? Yeah, because I don't want to daily with them. And these tires are probably just daily with them. It's uh, I mean kind of bald but they still do his job so yeah it's gonna be a little busy weekend uh, I'm gonna install the transmissions and that's gonna take probably under two hours um, but yeah but uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a video about me installing the transmission cuz I kind of just want to get it done with and then don't want to record or anything but um I'm doing it all here so it's not really hard it's really really easy you just a little time consuming because I took off the axles and everything. But yeah, so just a little update video and then um, I'm trying to think about what else. Uh, oh yeah, pretty much just clean up the car a little bit. Um, take all the stuff that I don't need because when we're at the track, oh that reminds me, when we go up to Streets of Willow, we're going up the day before, so we're going to rent a hotel. And then when we rent the hotel, we're going to stay there overnight, wake up early in the morning. We have to, it's like, I think like 20 minute, 20, 30 minute drive from the hotel to um, Streets of Willow. And then um, pretty much we have to be there at like 7.30, uh, sign up and everything. And then pretty much let's get it going. Uh, let's see, don't know what else to talk about. Um, yeah, just basic maintenance, so I'm going to change the uh, engine oil, uh, and then I kind of wish I had an extra set of wheels, because I sold all my extra set of wheels, so I just have these tires laying around, and then I kind of want to have, have a full-size spare, but then uh, it'll be fine, I have the spare donut, 
inside there. And then, yeah, I'm gonna record clips when I'm at the, at the event on the GoPro when I'm racing and then, uh, yeah, probably just record a round too, so it depends how I'm feeling, so. Oh yeah, and then I need a, I need to go to Walmart. I need to buy engine oil, I need to buy coolant. Uh, and then just bring spare parts, like bring, I'm gonna bring extra heater holes and everything. Uh, and extra radiator hoses, just, probably maybe extra belt, it depends. You know, just be on the safe side if anything breaks down, because we're gonna be in the desert. And then it's, like, the closest auto parts, like, 10 minutes on the street, but it's AutoZone, but say time, you never know if they're gonna have it, so. I always bring spare parts with me, so. It reminds me, I have an extra heater hose in my car already, so. Uh, just do, <coughs> just do to me overheating last time. <coughs> yeah, just a little update video. Um, car's pretty much set. I could take it as is to the track, but uh, I just want to change the transmission because that transmission grind, third gear, and this transmission is the right one too. So, and then I need to get started on these probably next month or after the event. I'm not in a rush to install these. But yeah, so yeah, it's pretty much just a little update video, and then um, maybe I'll make a little time lapse of me installing transmission. So pretty much just post up a GoPro or the, or the camera like on the side, and pretty much just time lapse it because I don't really want to get into further details of installing transmission. Even though it's kind of easy, I mean, I can explain right now, but there's no point. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that's about it. So, nothing else to talk about. So, peace.